right, 2019, we're back. It's on the radar. Yes. It, mind you, I'm so sorry. We had to reschedule this. Like, mm-hmm. I feel like we rescheduled this so many times. So many times. From the it, summertime to like. I know, from the two summertime ago, to this. In case now. you didn't know, it's Taylor Eve on the radar. Hey. Welcome to the show, man. Thank, Thank you for you. being my first guest of 2019. Yes, no because problem. honestly, you know, last week I was a little sick, and then we tried to make it work in December, but then the holidays came around, right, and we just right. really couldn't, like, get it to get it to I work know, and stuff like that. And I really wanted to get it close to the release of your... The EP. Your self-titled EP. Yes, yes. Which Taylor. was very... Which was dope, and we're going to get into all that Thank stuff you. and all that. Um, cool, cool, so cool. I guess the first thing I wanted to ask you was, um, you know, you started off as an artist manager's assistant, yes, correct? So yes. you have, like, your own little background in the music industry so how did that like you know i know that she or he or she Mm -hmm. she kind of like you know discovered your talent and all that so how'd that come like about well i really started um in the music industry on the business side so like i was interning for atlantic warner Mm -hmm. and um assisting like christian combs and all this stuff so i was really in the music industry i'm on the business side and uh she wanted i came across a artist manager who was looking for an assistant and i started just assisting her and there was just one day when i was with her artists um we were in utah and um shooting a video and uh i played her like some songs i did back in high school she was just like i was just like yo i have these songs from Mm -hmm. high school like they're mad amateurish whatever and um yeah they were like would you consider taking music up again and at that point i was like not even thinking of being an artist or taking that route i was just like oh that's so old of me whatever but i was like if the opportunity presents itself i mean i'll give it a shot Mm -hmm. so and they kind of just like took me under their wing and yeah so you've been doing this for a long time then is what you're telling me um i've been doing it for i want to say a long time like high school middle school all that stuff i was like um chorus and gospel chorus Mm -hmm. and all this stuff but um professionally like recording recording yeah that would be like a year and a half so what your demo sound like when you played them for for the first time it was like you when you were 17 Yeah, uh, yeah like 15 16 so i was like young and it was just like uh such a younger me so how's it gone from like you know obviously this wasn't you know being a singer and all that stuff like that wasn't originally in the plan so right. how, how's how has it been like you know kind of like going from that space of like you know i don't want to be a professional artist to oh i'm gonna do this i'm gonna put out an ep i'm gonna you know yeah i mean it's been great because i've been able to tap into my artistry that i've always had it's always been there but i just never really thought that I never thought that I could do it. I was just like, you know what, I'm going to just stick to what I know. I'm just going to work on the back end. I'll, you know, maybe one day I'll be an exec. I'm not mm-hmm. sure. But I think I overall wanted to be in the entertainment industry, wanted to be in music. And I was trying to just figure out the best way to go about that. So, But, like, being an artist, too, is I'm able to see the dynamic of the creative side and what it's ta- like, the emotional side of being an artist mm-hmm. and creating. So I feel like I have a great wide scape of um, – you know, the managerial side and also, like, the artist side. So I think that's great for myself, to just being in the business and having, like, that background at the same time. So, yeah. So how's it been, like, um? so what was it like recording your, you know, your debut EP and stuff like that? It was amazing. Um, So I was recording it with my friends. We were recording it mm-hmm. in the house. Um, And if we, it didn't, it wasn't an EP originally. We were just making a whole bunch of singles, um, just, like, really creating, just, like, trying to figure out, okay, what what is my sound going to be? Um, Which you got a bunch of different sounds on there. A bunch. So it's like I don't even... Do you like like catering? Not like catering, but do you like sticking to one sound over the others because or do you enjoy kind of like jumping around like you know cause there was one song where it was you know it was very melodic and stuff like that mm-hmm. and then the other song was very you know you were like spitting on it so uh, like i yes, thought that was kind of yes. cool i was like i was like oh okay i didn't expect this because i thought mm-hmm. you know you know when when you hear um or when you see that female singers releasing ep you kind of just expect you know oh i'm gonna get like you know like one one vibe throughout the whole album you know right, what i'm saying like right. if you listen to scissors album it's kind of like right. a very consistent vibe mm-hmm. but then like you're like when we went from song to song on your ep it was mm-hmm. like you know each song had something like a little different yes. to it you know what i'm saying so many different elements so like like you mentioned we had like the melodic then we had like the rap and we had the pop song which was the last song and yeah the pop song yes. really threw me for a loop <laughs> i was really kind of like I, I was listening and i was like oh i wasn't expecting this because you know like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was my shit. That's my because like I'm when <laughs> no no you can curse. It's cool. Oh, okay, it's cool. Because okay. like when I, when I have like guests come in, you know, I'll listen to the music at my desk because it's like the easiest way for me to like you know kind of like mm-hmm. zone in and like what and work and also kind of like prepare for you know for, sure. for you guys to come in and I and when it got to the last song, I thought it was like I was on the main Apple page <laughs> and then like it just started playing something completely different, which yeah. isn't a bad thing uh-huh. either. It was like it was really cool. Like I was like, oh, this is different. I wasn't yeah. expecting this, mm-hmm. so I thought that was really dope that you like kind of put like a little pop song on Thank there. You. Like I said, like we weren't. Um, thinking of an actual EP, we're just creating a whole bunch of different 
songs and kind of just tapping into so many different elements. And with this EP, what I loved about it was that I saw it as more of a showcase where I'm able to just showcase um, the different sounds that I was able to create um, this past year and kind of just, you know, that I can do it all. And I, it was great for me to see that. And I thought it was great for other people to see that as mm. well. So I didn't want to just stick to like the R&B lane or just the pop lane or just mm. the rap lane. I kind of just wanted to have like this assortment of sounds where like, you know, if you have um, snake, sh- uh, snake Ships wants me to get on a song or something or you never know. Like, mm-hmm. it's kind of like, okay, she can do this. She can do that. And I just want to kind of keep rolling with those punches. Now, was it now I know you travel a lot. So was it all recorded in like one place or did you, you know, did you... Because I know, like, artists, like, you know, if you go to, like, you know, Jamaica, like, artists, like, will record mm-hmm. out there. Did you record out there or did you, you know, Ooh. or was that just vacation? Um, well, that was vacation. Jamaica was vacation. Um, we all went to Jamaica. We I didn't record out there. Um, but when I was in L.A. this summer, mm-hmm. definitely we were recording the whole summer. Um, so that was great. I got to work with Aaron Doe, who's like um, this. He was a, a Viner, the famous Viner. Converted oh, okay. to, uh, I guess, like YouTube sensation and I linked up with linked up with him. And we made like this dope song. And um, was one of those songs was that song one of the songs that was on your EP? No, actually, you can find it on his EP. Oh, OK, cool. Aaron cool, cool. Doe, check him out. So. But yeah, like. It's just been it's just been amazing time to kind of just be able to create with different people in different mm-hmm. um, places and different vibes. I think it kind of helps with the sound of music as well, just because I think that all plays a part. The setting, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of is scene. there anybody that you try to not like match your sound to, but is there anybody that kind of like you, um, I guess, try to like not sound like, but like you know, like take like a little bit of like their vibes. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. you know, like a little bit of like this person, and you're like a little bit of this person too. Um. Hmm. Not 100. percent I don't really hone in on that, but uh, I guess one of my favorite artists is Rihanna. So I definitely love her versatility okay. too. So that I guess that's where I kind of get um like the arrangement of sounds too. But uh, yeah, I haven't really tried to match up with anybody. I'll really just be doing my own thing. So no, which is cool because yeah. like because yeah. it, it created like a really like unique like you know um project, which is you know it's yes. not. It's not. It's hard to find nowadays. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's hard sure. to find like something like genuine and stuff like sure. and, like for something sure. like that. Mm-hmm. So I know um, it's self titled now, but I remember at one point that you had posted that it was gonna be called something different. Am I am I correct? No, no. It was always gonna be called Taylor. Wasn't it gonna be like the Red Cup? Chronicles oh, no, or something no, no, like no. That? But that's like the second name just as promotion. Like the Red Cup Chronicles just to kind of tie in with the cover art. Oh, okay. And like just the Red Cup Chronicles was the story behind the EP where mm-hmm. um, each song was just the uh, just showing the different emotions of me being under the influence of the Red Cup. Oh, okay. And just so each song different... you was drunk record. So you was like drunk like in like recording each song. Is no, that what I you're trying to say? I wasn't actually. But um, if I was lit or anything, like there's just so many different elements, like mm-hmm. thoughts that go through my head. Um, if I'm lit, whether it's like me thinking about this boy or me being like at a super turned up party and like that's where like the pop okay. song came in. Okay. And so just kind of having like all those different like hmm, these are some of the things that uh, I think about. So what motivated you to do the pop song? So uh, shout out to an artist named Any because she inspired me so much. Um, her song "Kissing in the Dark," I heard it and I was like, "Yo, she's mad different. She's in her own lane, doing her own thing." And I love the sound. Like I was just like, "This is different too," and I love that mm. the fact that I was able to find someone that um, was kind of on a similar frequency when it came to uh, I want to say like a pop record. Um, so that's kind of where that came from. And I was just like, that is what I want to embody in my next song when it came to Let Your Heart Dance. So that's kind of where the that's inspiration dope. came from that. So shout out to, to any for Was sure. it hard to do like a pop song? Or um, was it like... It, it wasn't. I think that song was just... It was really organic when mm-hmm. I had made it. Um, and shout out to Oya because he helped me write it as well. Um, such amazing writer for sure. And just to have that, it was so different because it was different from all the mm-hmm. other songs that I made. So after hearing it and playing it, I was just like, I want to make more records like this just because like it gets me no, out of my dope. seat. It, it gets dope. me like going. And so. it like reaches a different audience. You know, like that was a song that I could hear like being played at a, an EDM festival yes, or something like yes. that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you should get some EDM remixes of it. Uh, you know See, you know, saying. you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I can hear up with some EDM DJ. Yes. We, could, we could figure something yes. out. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to 
get that collab. I'm gonna do the EDM. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna get there. That's get so there. funny. Um, but yeah, like and shout out to you know Oya Bun and stuff like yes, that. And he was on sure. he was on three of the songs. Yes, you know, he was. first of all, shout out to him because he you know he has been one of my favorite artists that nice. I've brought on and stuff like that. Yeah. And he's a, he's a real cool friend and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. what was it like you know kind of um especially working with him like so closely on these three songs? Yes. You know, like how did that uh how did those collabs kind of like come about or you know kind of like work out in like the recording process and you said he wrote um yes, for, you, for some absolutely. of it too um him and i we went to high school together oh okay and, get out um, i didn't know that yeah we went to high school together we went to edward amaro um in brooklyn and uh i was in one of his videos back in high school and uh the the footage got lost, so I never had that. But then we ah damn, to- see, I really wouldn't want to see. I yes, wouldn't want to see y'all see, two in high school. That shit would have been funny as fuck. Yeah, well. I know. That shit would have been great. It's crazy how everything comes full circle. But um, we linked up seven years later. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen it for seven years, and it was just so crazy because one of my friends was just like, "Hey, I'm about to go to the studio." Her and I were out at sushi, and she was like, "I'm about to go to the studio session with um this guy named Andrew, whatever." And she showed me. She was like, "You remember him?" And I'm looking at. I'm like, who his is name's this? Andrew. I didn't even oh, know. Oh, Andrew. I didn't know. I, I didn't know his real name. Oh, nah, oh, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> and um, I was just like, who? She was like, don't you remember you were like doing a video with him in high school? And yeah. I was like, oh snap! Like, yeah. Oh my god, it's been so long. And mm-hmm. then she ended up uh, flaking. But I was just like, yo, this is the time when I was about to uh, um, intern with Atlantic. So I'm like, yo, I'm trying to get into the studio. I want to meet artists. I want to see, you know, find new talent. Whatever the case was. So. Um, I hit him up via DM. I was like, hey, Dana said that she was going to come to the uh, studio with you, but um, she's not, no longer going. So mm-hmm. you mind if I just pull up? I know it's been a long time. He was like, yeah, let's pull up. Like, let's reconnect what's going on. And so that's where the kind of mm-hmm. we reconnected, rekindled. And um, when it came to working on the project, he definitely took me under his wing for sure and kind of really showed me the ropes when it came to um, artistry and writing and He's one of the best writers ever. I'm 100%. So, uh, I, yeah, like all of my songs on the EP, I know he was on three of them, mm-hmm. and we were going to do a project together. Okay. So, but then some of those songs got on my project, so we still have like a lot of songs. Was he Was he on? Because I know there was one song that I know he wasn't featured on, and I remember I was like listening to it, and I, and I could like, I could have sworn. Swear to God, I heard like some Kid Cudi humming in the background, and I was like, <laughs> I was like, is he on this song too? Well, well, well he, um, he layers his vocals with mine sometimes, so mm-hmm. he'll be in the background. He may not be on the song, but mm-hmm. he's there. You know? Oh, okay. <laughs> See, that's what because I because I knew I heard him. I was like, oh, I was like, yo, there's some Kid Cudi shit not here, and I was like, yeah. I was like, he's already been on this fucking song too, yeah. man. I was like, I was like, wow, he's all over the place on this project. Yeah. That's dope, man. Yo, shout out to Oya, man. Yeah, I, it, it was de- definitely like I remember the first um record you dropped off the project. Yes, I was like, like you. I was like, mm-hmm. this is I was like, this is fucking sick. Yes, I was and like, this is so dope. That, that was so amazing shooting it with him. Um, Snoop Dogg co-signed. That was the first. I know. I was about to ask. Out. I was like, so how how did how did you oh. meet Snoop Dogg and okay. oh how the goodness. fuck did you get your record played for Snoop Dogg and uh, oh was it gosh. like a, in the club and you like <laughs> ran up on him and you was like, yo, I need you to listen to this no, shit like right now. You know, honestly, okay, so um, like you had dropped four days later. Okay. Um, Oya gets a text from one of his friends like, hey, did you just see that Snoop Dogg posted um the song on his page? And so oh, we're all shit. just like wait, what? So we go on his page, we see the post, and we're just going crazy. It's literally like the first post on his Instagram, and I'm just like, yo, this is crazy. We didn't do wow. any type of marketing for that, anything. It just um, somehow found, he found it. It was on one of Snoop Dogg's fan pages, and mm. his fan page has posted, and then Snoop Dogg reposted it from one of his fan pages. Mm, okay. And, um... I was just like, yo, this is so crazy. So we were in L.A. Um, after that, after from being in New York, and um, he, uh, we went to Jamie Foxx after party. I think it was for B- BET Awards after party. And um, we realized Snoop Dogg was there, so Oya was just like, oh, my God. This is like a full circle moment. Like literally, So y'all ran up on him? We ran up on him. We ran up on Snoop. <laughs> we really did. Like, That's hilarious. We were just like, yo, we, about to, we, have, to, we have to do it. So mm-hmm. Oya, like, we, had lo- we saw Snoop, but we lost him because we were following him. Like, he had, like, his security. Was going, we were like, nah, we got to get this. Like, we got to, like, talk to him. Like, really put our stamp on this. Um, so me and Oya, we find him. Um, and then I, I go up to Snoop Dogg and I show him the post that he posted. And he was like, yo, like, he gave me a high five. He was like, this is so dope. I was just like, how'd you figure it out? He was like, how'd you find it? He was just like, my son showed it to me. Oh, and shit. And I was like, oh, I don't, I don't even know how his son got found it. Found yeah. it. I'm not sure. But that was, it was an amazing, like, full circle moment for sure. That's and so crazy. Showed me a lot of love for that. So, yeah. That's awesome. So Snoop, Snoop is always with, like, 
a lot of like the upcoming artists. I seen mm-hmm. like Georgia Smith, LMA, all the all the dope artists too. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I saw really he posted good. up with Georgia Smith um like a few weeks yeah, ago. Same, same. That's so, so I'm just dope. like, all right, I'm on the right path. Like, okay, cool. Okay, cool. Now th- like I'm that. also just curious about this. So I know um I, it was mad funny because I remember around Christmas time I was gonna hit you or your sister up mm-hmm. because you know your sister used to intern while I, while yeah. I was working here mm-hmm. and. Cause you guys do this like I guess this yearly party now, right? Yes. And <laughs> and I remember like I kept I kept seeing it on my Instagram and I was like, yo, hit one of them up to get tickets. <laughs> I was like, I was like, just don't forget to get tickets. Yes. I was like, cause I cause at first I was just, I was like, okay, cool, they're doing a party, dope. Mm-hmm. And then I saw the video you posted of last year yes. and how it got like shut down or like how like yes. people were just running around crazy. the street. What the what the hell was that? That that looked so oh, dope though. Oh it was like gosh, looked that, crazy. That party, um. It was ridiculous. So uh, my dad, he owns like an Airbnb. Like he does, he's into Dang, real estate and all that stuff. Like that. So um, we basically we used his mm. place and invited. Like we just put the post up, but the pi- the post went viral. Like on Facebook, on Instagram, everything. And we didn't expect as many people to come as much as many people did. Right. But it was super packed. Um, super crazy people were on like the rooftop and then it was like the it almost like the SWAT team came there was like, like choppers was, like, and, and shit like that cars, right two helicopters came because people were like on the roof it was like um and this was like Christmas time in 2017 no that was that was May of 2017 oh so y'all was just about to back to back it in the by year 20, 2017 Yo. was lit for me like all of my odd years have been my best years so 2019 may be one of my best years too but 2017 <laughs> like oh my god it was crazy and then um Ah, uh, it was just too so, too much. So it, so unfortunately, like I know you guys had to like postpone it or or cancel. the one for yeah, for the one for twenty eighteen. For, for twenty eighteen, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. like, are you guys planning to do another one for twenty nineteen? Oh yeah, no, for sure. Twenty nineteen is gonna be like the real. Oh fuck, the yo, Rio. you guys, you guys the are gonna Rio. tear up Brooklyn again. Ah. Are you guys, are you guys scared? No. Never scared. Are you already planning? Never scared. We're not planning yet. Okay. But there's we have so many things in the works as far as like this year. But mm-hmm. one of those parties is definitely for sure in the works. So, so, what do you got coming up this year like in terms of like music and Yeah, this stuff year like that. um so working on I work on a couple singles. Mm-hmm. I want to have a project done by the end of this year. Mm-hmm. Um also a lot of different shows. I know I'm going to be a part of the major record label showcase. Yes, yes, yes. I was going to I was yeah. going to say let's talk I'm, about that. Are you excited? I'm super excited. So, for everybody watching who doesn't know, um shout out to the major record label showcase. Shout out to Will Styles, aka the Broke Diddy. Um I'm going to be <laughs> One of the guest judges at the major record label showcase coming up January 31st, SOB. Yes. You can pull up, come see some awesome new talent. Taylor's going to be performing, man. Hey. Obviously, <laughs> obviously, she's on the show now. So she <laughs> she kind of already won the showcase because she already kind of she already she's already here. So I, I can't I can't pick you again. Oh, but uh-huh. <laughs> but it's going to be a super dope time. Uh, DJ Self is hosting. Yes. Be people from Rock Nation, mm-hmm. all that, all that, all that. Yeah, exactly. So, um, so yeah, are you excited? I'm super excited, super prepared. I'm just prepared. I'm ready to like do it. And I just my main thing is having fun. Like, I'm not even thinking about it on no competition or anything like that. I'm just seeing it myself having that opportunity to mm-hmm. be on the SOB stage. Like somebody legendary up with, shit like, right there. SOB's like the new, like the modern day Apollo. Rihanna like, was they, there last night. Come on. Rihanna was there. Yo, Come she needs. On. to I got pull those guys. I got the yeah. guys who um um Gangtivity from Flatbush. They're yes. they're gonna be pulling up next week too. So oh, I'm, really? I'm yeah. So I'm we gonna we nice. we're gonna figure out why Rihanna was okay, there. Rihanna, please come. Even though come on, even though you know, man, you know, you know they were there for them. You know she was there for them. Definitely, they're gonna be here next week. I'm gonna be like she was there for y'all, right? Hundred percent, hundred percent. She was there for y'all. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's gonna be legendary, man. It's gonna be super super dope time. So new album. Um, yes. New project, new, new singles, project, performances, performances. Just kind of tapping into different industries too, mm-hmm. along um, the entertainment. You know, you know, see what happens. See yes, what happens. yes, yes. All yeah. right. Well, thank you so much for pulling up. Yes, thank you so much for having. Let me. the people know where they can get your music, yes. where they can follow you, all that good shit. You know the deal. Yes. Well, my name is Taylor Eve. You can follow me on all social media platforms at, at Taylor Eve. You can also get my music on all streaming platforms. My debut EP. Taylor by Taylor Eve is out now, so make sure you go get that. Listen, bump, and support. Let's get it, Taylor yes. Eve, on the radar. Thank you for on coming. On the radar. Woo! Thank you. Perfect. Peace out. <laughs>